Alright, this is Unit 3, Part 2, Video Homework 2. We're going to talk today about mineral hardness testing. Alright, one of the properties of minerals that we study is hardness. Okay, the hardness of a mineral is its resistance to being scratched. Alright, so record that on your homework paper. The hardness of a mineral is its resistance to being scratched. That's number one on your homework. All right. Scientists test a mineral's hardness by scratching it against other minerals of known hardness. Okay, so like you can see in this picture right here, this white mineral is scratching a uh, darker mineral. So we know by this scratch test that this white mineral is harder than this dark mineral. All right, so there's number two on your homework. Scientists test a mineral's hardness by scratching it against other minerals of known hardness. Right. We measure the hardness of minerals using the Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Okay? It's a list of 10 minerals with known hardness values. And those are listed right here. Okay? This is the Mohs scale, these are the minerals, and this is the hardness. Okay? So number three, there's uh, for number three on your homework. All right, number four, the minerals on the hardness scale are arranged from softest to hardest. All right, the softest one is talc. It has a value of one. It's the softest. The hardest mineral is diamond. It has a hardness of 10. It's the hardest. Okay, there's a Mohs scale. All right, number five, harder minerals can leave a scratch on softer minerals. All right, that's number five on your homework. Harder minerals can leave a scratch on softer minerals. All right, so if I, for example, they have here quartz, which is number seven, it will scratch feldspar, which is number six, but it will not scratch topaz, which is number eight. All right, a diamond, because it's number 10, the hardest, cannot be scratched by any other mineral. This is another example of the Mohs hardness scale. Okay, this scale shows minerals and other objects of known hardness. All right, for example, a fingernail can scratch gypsum. See this right here? Where's the fingernail? It can scratch gypsum, but it cannot scratch calcite because the fingernail is in between the hardness of gypsum and calcite. Same thing for the penny. Penny could scratch calcite, but it couldn't scratch fluorite. Fluorite would scratch the penny. All right. Glass is another example. Uh, glass can scratch the mineral apatite, but it could not scratch the mineral orthoclase. But orthoclase could scratch glass. It's in between. And then steel or metal, well, let's say steel, like a knife, can scratch. It's the same hardness as quartz. Okay. In the next part of the video, we're going to watch some actual mineral, mineral hardness testing using the minerals and some other objects shown in this Mohs hardness scale. So when you watch that part of the video, you're going to record the things that um, the teacher is using, the minerals that she's using to scratch, and record them where they belong on the hardness scale at the bottom of the page. One of the factors used to identify minerals is their hardness which means how well they resist being scratched by a harder mineral. So what we're going to do is go through and show you the steps that we would take to show hardness for the minerals. This is talc. This is listed as number one on your list. With talc, it's one of the softest minerals and if you notice that even my fingernail will leave a scratch on it. Yeah. This is number two. It's called selenite. It is also a very soft mineral and so we can also show that it will scratch with a fingernail. This is called calcite. It's number three on your list. This one we can try with a fingernail, but it really is too hard for my fingernail to leave a scratch. So for the next step, we would try a penny, which is made of copper, and we'll find that if we press hard enough, you see it leaves a scratch mark. Fluorite is going to be a little harder than the calcite. This time, the penny is not going to scratch it, but 
if we take the fluorite, we can scratch the penny. So you see, can you see the scratch? Yes. Right there. Now we see it. Okay. Okay. Um, so that means that fluorite is harder than the copper. Then we can also, but we can find something that's harder than the fluorite. If we use a blade, a metal, a metal blade, we can actually then scratch the fluorite. So it takes them, this is going to be harder than the fluorite is because this, the blade scratches. It. Okay, we're getting a little bit harder. This is called appetite. This is number five on the list. We're going to find that the blade will also scratch it. Now this one's a little bit harder to see. The great blade will scratch it. Yeah, you can see it. But it's harder. It's harder for me to scratch it with the blade. So that's because this is harder than the fluorite that we scratched before that was a little bit easier to scratch. So we're getting harder each time. This is number six. It's called feldspar. This time, where we, cur we were able to scratch the others with the blade, this one is not going to scratch with the blade. If I press down, if even pressing down on it, I can't get it to scratch. So that means this is harder than the blade. But if I take a piece of glass, the feldspar can scratch the glass. It's, the blade is cut, cutting it there. Let me go ahead again. Yeah, you can see that, that really well. Okay, so the feldspar is harder than the piece this of glass. This is number seven, it's quartz. And this one is also going to be harder than the glass, but it should scratch the glass a little bit easier because it is harder. Let's see if it does. Very definitely cuts through the glass much easier than the feldspar did. Where we had quartz before, this is number eight. This is topaz. So as the numbers get higher, we're getting harder. So now we're gonna take the topaz and see that it, to prove that it's harder, it will scratch this quartz. But it's a little bit harder to get them to scratch as we get hard, harder and harder. This one doesn't want to leave. Hmm. Okay, are we seeing anything? Not really. Yeah, here it is. Okay, right there. And Good so we job. get harder, then they, they are, are harder. And so we're not going to get as easily a scratch as we did before. Number eight again was the topaz. Number nine is called corundum. Corundum is one of the hardest minerals that we have. And we're going to see that it's, it does a pretty good job on scratching the, the topaz. Uh, you see it? Yeah, I'm going to have to focus. Give it a second. There it goes. Okay, so then the scratch is right there. Okay. All right. Once again, nine was corundum. Number 10, you'll notice that uh, if you see anything in your, if we look at the kit, it's going to say not in the kit for number 10. Number 10 is a diamond. This happens to be my, in my ring. The diamond is there. We talked about in class that diamonds are the hardest. Diamond, if I could get to the diamond, to the edge of it, it would scratch the corundum because diamond, again, is the hardest mineral that we have. Talk about in your, in your group what can cut or what's going to be able to scratch the diamond. Think about it.